solving distance, speed, and time. In my previous explanation, we tried, we have already solved distance and speed. This time, we look for time. Just also to remind you that I have also taught you in transposition. So time is equal to distance over speed. So let's continue with this problem on speed, distance, and time. These are the two problems we have solved. And here we we'll proceed with the third and fourth problem. A ship with a speed of 11.5 knots has 9 miles to go. Okay? 9 miles, 11.5 knots speed. They look for a time. Okay, so it's very easy. So here, I gonna show you on how to solve via Excel. Okay, so first, nine miles to go. Okay, so this is the nine miles to go. Nine miles to go, 11 miles per hour, which is or nuts. The time is missing. Distance equals speed and time. I would throw the time, as I told you, in transposition. I'm looking for the speed. I would throw the time on the other side of the equal. And it will become... No, I'm looking for time. I will throw the speed to the other side of the equal. It will be distance over speed. The variable that you throw will become on the downside. Okay, this is very, 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 very good to remember. So the time is equals to equals to here distance is 9 so i just copy this one equals here you show just then 11.5 here okay and the formula is 9 over 11.5 very easy excel by excel so 0.7 hour you convert into minutes because this is hour and they're looking into minutes here if you can see the selection is minutes it's not hour so therefore we shall get the minutes so 7.78 hour times again how to convert if the if you're converting into hour you have to get the equivalent which is one hour to 60 minutes and the one if the hour is up here the hour is down here so that you can cancel okay i cancel here i cancel here the remaining is minutes so 0.76 is times 60 is very simple i just put here that one then times 60 okay by the way times in excel is asterisk is 46.9 minutes can we check this one uh, 47 minutes so it's 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 in the answer can we check the solution normal no here this is like very easy if you have a scientific calculator and you have a 47 minutes now i show you a scientific calculator which is very different no so it is uh it should be solved like this 9 divided by 11.5 okay then time 60 right away you'll have 46.9 or 47 minutes the calculator and and the excel both of them we'll proceed with the next problem you have 38 miles to go what will be your steaming time at 11.5 knots so it should be three hours and few minutes so selection is like this so let's solve using excel okay the solution of this using excel is here okay so 38 miles to go 11.5 same formula speed time is equals to distance over speed 38 over 11.5 so simple I just go this one and and division is 3.3 hours however in Excel this is 3.3 hours the, the 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 whole number is hour so here I would take out the whole number how very simple this one 
I just minus 3. I remember that's already the 3 hours. Then I would convert the 0.3 hours. So it will give me how I can convert this one is this equals then times 60. It gives me 18 minutes. Then the one, the 3 hours I keep. So 3 hours and 18 minutes. How I shall do it using calculator is very simple. Okay. 38 divided by 11.5. Well, 3.304. I would remember the whole number is hours, so I would minus 3, then times 60, 18 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow mariners, so I, let's check the solution and also the normal calculator. 3 hours and 18 minutes is the same with our Excel and with our calculator, which is computer calculator. Fellow Mariners, this is Roden Paka TV, the source of knowledge in marine calculations. Good day and happy sailing.